Okay, hi guys. So I'm going to start showing you some DIYs. This is the candle holder that I bought from the 99 cent store. I removed the spider web and the spider. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and spray paint it. I had two different types of gold. Um, you might want to test it. Like I, this is what I did. I spray painted to see which color um, I would prefer. And I'm going to go with the, um, so this one right here, this is a metallic finish. This one is for this one. And then this is, um, and this is also gold. Bear with me. Lexi. So this one, um, this is actually a uh, paint and primer, but this is more of a um, less shiny. This is a shiny finish. So I'm going to go with this one because um, with the first one, with this one, it was too sheer. So um, I was going to have to give it more coats. And then also on top of that, I'm going to be adding a gold glitter um, spray paint to it so I did both of them the light here is terrible you guys it's such a like gloomy day so you can see more heat on this one than on this one all right so I'm gonna go ahead and start spray painting and I'll show you the results once we're done okay guys so this is what the final product looks like i was actually happy with it i kind of like the rusty look of it please don't mind my kitchen i have a mess i'm prepping for a party okay so for the second project i just spray painted these in the color gold and uh i went back and i actually bought some more and i spray painted them yellow Okay, as you guys could see right here, I'm just grabbing my yellow candle holder and I'm going to glue down the uh, blue bowl that I got from the 99 cent store. I hauled these a couple of months back and I am also going to do the same thing. I'm just going to remove the sticker from the bowl and I grabbed the gold one and I am going to glue it down with the gold candle holder. Um, I only use the glue gun because I just wanted these temporarily. Um, at the end of the party, I actually end up uh, bringing, them up, bringing them apart and I am using the bolts um, at home. Um, also, I want to apologize regarding the angle of the camera, but unfortunately, my camera was charging and that was the only way for me to record. I had already filmed the this video a couple of times and I was already irritated, to be honest with you guys. So, um yeah i do apologize about that Okay guys, so this is what they end up looking like. I am gonna be using these for the uh, candies, um, for the, what is it called, the dessert table. And yeah, I was actually very happy with them.
Okay, so for my next project, we're gonna go ahead and grab a bag. I already started with this bag. Um, you're gonna need a bag, um, some type of paint, some buttons, and uh, some chain. I got these at Walmart. I believe this was $1.19 or $1.29. Same price for the buttons. And then the bags I purchased at Dollar Tree. I believe they're three for a dollar. So let's get started. Okay, so once you guys had cut the chain to your desired size, please excuse my table. Like I've been crafting here um, like crazy. And the light, also the sun keeps going in and out. I don't know what's going on. Um, to your desire, you're gonna go ahead and start gluing everything. Now, um, I'm gonna do the this one double. I want it to be like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue the chain first and then I'm gonna add the buttons so and add one dip okay that one's been dry I'm doing this guys with one hand because my phone is acting up and I can't charge it Make sure you guys don't burn yourself, by the way. Okay. So once that's done, I want it a little bit loose. So I'm gonna add right there. Okay, so there it is. Something very simple yet elegant. You could always scrunch that off. That's actually chalk paint. So, yep, I didn't want to do it all white. I just did ivory. So, so cute. Now, let me go ahead and show you what I'm going to do for Belle. Okay, so for Belle's back, we're going to need a bag, and I already traced what I want to do. Um, some paint. I'm gonna use uh, gold because I try using this one, it didn't work. I try using this one, it didn't work. So we're gonna have to go with the gold. And then some roses. And to give it a little touch, some of the stone stickers. So, and you're gonna need your brush, already a pencil brush. So let's get started and God help me because I only have a hand. I mean, I'm only going to do this with one hand. Okay, you guys, I do apologize, but I couldn't record. I had Sailing here and I had Lexi and they were just all over me. 
So what I did, I just got the brush and I painted these right here. And then I added some of these um, pearl um, stone stickers and I individually cut them because they do come in a row. And I just added them right like so. And then I added one of these little roses and yeah you guys that's pretty much it that is it for the goodie bags the treat bags um and that is that i hope you guys enjoy and let's continue with the next diy okay so for the next diy we're gonna be doing the enchanted rose this is um our what is this thing called Stone. that's what it's called um so i got this one at michael's does it say the price there i want to say this was 19.99 it was on sale and then i had that 40 percent off coupon it wasn't clearance it was on sale i believe and you guys could hear my kids um i got this rose isn't this rose beautiful i didn't want the traditional fig rose i don't know um i was actually gonna buy a fresh rose but then i found this at the 99 cent store for 1.99 and it's just beautiful i love it and then we're gonna use uh, one of these little ones, um, I'm going to tear it apart and I'm only going to use the petals to cover up um, where I'm going to put the glue and obviously you're going to need your glue gun. So please excuse my workstation once again, I'm trying to do this as fast as I can. I am starting to stress out and I don't want that. So let's get started. Okay, so once you have finished um, cutting it, you will be folding it a little bit, just enough so it could fit. And also, that's gonna help you to glue it down.
Okay, so right here I already added the leaf. I glued it down and now I'm just gonna start adding the petals. And um, I'm just waiting for it, the glue to dry down. Okay guys, this is it. That's my rose. Okay. All right guys, this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and until the next time, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.